What's up, world? It's your boy Drew Morrissey for How to Rap Live from Beverly Hills, California. And today we're going to talk about reasons to move to Las Vegas as a rapper. Kind of a random point, but there's a lot of actual good reasons to live in Las Vegas. I've lived there for about a year. Uh, I don't live there currently, but I, I live there for about a year. And it's actually a city that you can do a lot of damage as, a, as an artist and get a lot of cool connections. So we've been doing this series on where to live, why to move to certain cities. We've done LA, we've done New York, now we're doing Vegas. All right, Las Vegas, Sin City, wild place where you know anything goes. What are the reasons to move to Las Vegas as an artist and what can you expect? Number one, Las Vegas is a place where every major entertainment personality, star, uh, person that's trying to get an entertainment invariably is going to be. So while we're out here in Los Angeles, we take for granted it's the home of entertainment and you know, the average person on the street is gonna be somehow connected to entertainment. But we don't think about the fact that that person, if they're anything worth their salt, they're also doing business in Las Vegas, especially in the hip hop realm. Uh, the number one venue out there is Dre's Las Vegas. That's where you're gonna see every household name in the rap game coming through. You can get a lot of money out there and it's specifically very close to Los Angeles. It's only about four hours by car from here, uh, like an hour and a half door to door from here by plane. So any person that is worth their salt in the entertainment industry does business in Vegas, is in Vegas, parties in Vegas, and is accessible, right? So it is another entertainment capital, underrated as such. And furthermore, kind of point two, is they're much easier to get to. If you're connected to promoters in Las Vegas, and it's very easy to get friends who are promoters in Vegas, if you show up a lot, or if you're just friendly, or you buy them a bottle, they'll be your friend, they'll give you their number, uh, they'll give you staff, guest list, you'll be able to enter in free, all these different things. It's easy to get connected. If you have friends who are promoters, you can often meet these rappers, be at their table. It's much less weird or random in Vegas to hang out with a, pers a celebrity uh, have a drink with them, be at their table, uh, partially because of the vacation culture, partially because it's not their permanent residence usually, partially because they don't know if you're part of the promoter, your promoter themselves, you set up the table, whatever it is. So I've met many famous celebrities. I'm not gonna say their name because they watch it and they're like, like we ain't best friends, we just had a couple of drinks, but many famous celebrities, A-listers, rappers, uh, UFC fighters, boxers, like all that kind of stuff and had full 20, 30 hour long conversations, party the night away with them in Las Vegas in a way that you're just not gonna be able to in Los Angeles. Um, most of the venues where the big celebrities in Los, Ve uh, Los Angeles go to, uh, they're private, they're list only. Uh, they're designed in a way that only celebrities can hang out with them. Uh, they take away your phones, etc. You know what I mean? You gotta know somebody. So it's a lot harder to access those big superstars uh, in Los Angeles than it is in Vegas. Easier access. Uh, third, kind of hinted at it from the first two points. It's right down the street from LA, right? It's right down the street, literally an hour uh, it's an hour door to door, maybe an hour and a half door to door by plane. So you can spend the entire day in LA, come back home to Vegas, uh, do what you gotta do. You still have access to the LA culture. And as I said, you're, you're able to uh, still reach out to the entertainment culture and suck out all the energy of LA culture uh, without the stress of being in LA and the distances, stuff like that. And kind of related to that point, and the last point is it's a lot cheaper. When I was living in Las Vegas, we had a three bedroom house, three bedroom house with a two floor bedroom, like the master suite was two floors, it was a straight up loft for $1,800 a month. That was in the nicest part of Las Vegas, Summerlin, what up? We had a gated community. It was only still 20, 25 minutes from the strip, like a $15 Uber from the strip. You're able to get there, get back, do what you gotta do. It had a backyard, it was on a golf course, like all this cool stuff that would cost you millions of dollars or tens of thousands of dollars on Los Angeles, you could get for $1,800 a month. You know, if, if any of y'all are watching like that sounds like a lot, well, that's a three bedroom house. So you could split it with your homies and then you have a super nice suburban gated community baller crib. You could put a studio in there like we did, etc. 
uh, and you're only paying 60, uh, 600 a month uh, on each person's front. It's a lot cheaper. Uh, yes, the, the alcohol and sort of the party culture is more, but you're making that money back. Like I said, you're connected with more superstars. Uh, you're still close to LA and you know just even food and sort of day-to-day living is a lot more affordable. So you're saving a lot of money by living in Los, An- uh, Las Vegas and you're very close to Los Angeles. And I guess this is the bonus point I, I didn't even think about until I, I said this is, uh, they got the sports teams coming. They just got a hockey team. Uh, they got the Raiders there uh, next year. So it's gonna be blowing up. It's one of the fastest growing cities in America. I think it's at like 800, 900,000 people now. It'll be a million plus very soon. Uh, so it's always popping. There's gonna be more and more people. It's youthful, easier access, pretty solid move, especially if maybe you wanna live in Las Vegas grind out that way, get your connections, and then move to LA. Uh, that's another uh, decent way to do it. Uh, would I suggest living in Las Vegas over LA? I would say that'd be a financial decision above all, but if you can't afford to live in LA, move in Las Vegas, you'll, you'll be fine. Uh, if you are you wanna stack your bread, but still be like building your, your entertainment connects, move to Las Vegas, blah, blah, blah. Or if you just want uh, a more like recreational kind of experience as an artist, and you're maybe online based more so, and you're building your, your online presence, and you don't wanna spend all this money on cars all the time and all this whatnot for LA, go to Las Vegas, check it out. I'm glad I live there, learned a lot, learned a lot about my vices. And as always, you know, be sure to subscribe if this is your first time watching this. this is step two, join our notification family. And if, if you're interested in personal coaching, one-on-one stuff, for your unique living situation, hit up howtorapdrew.com. Thanks for watching. You're going to chill, enjoy the sunlight. I've been your host, Drew Marcy. Peace.